it's official. This dress, getting donated or sold on Depop. I haven't worn it because I don't really wear baggy clothes. I just feel, because I'm overweight, baggy clothes and like make us look bigger and I've just never like felt like I suited baggy clothes so I always wear tight fitted clothes but I bought this dress from Pet & Co probably beginning of the year and I thought oh it's a really hot day I'll wear it went swimming tonight and me and Anna said I looked pregnant so I don't think this dress is doing much for us I mean I know Nana didn't mean to offend us but I was quite offended I'm not feeling the dress I thought I felt like it kind of looked hospital gowny today and I went for a drive with me, day, me dad and I was like do I look like I'm in a hospital gown and he was like no no so yeah I wasn't feeling it really anyway but that's just really put us off it hi it's currently Monday it's like after 10 o'clock I've had one of them days I've just potted around I've got loads of washing done the washing was drying in half an hour outside it was mint but it's been another day where I've not been able to walk the dogs which is a bit shit uh, they went for a late evening walk which um you're recommended to do like all the vets and that are putting on Facebook like don't walk them don't walk them so we went for an evening walk and they were having like a five minute bit outside and then I was dragging them in with a treat and we had a bit of enrichment play but it's so annoying because obviously bless them like when they're in the house all day they're like mom why are you not taking me for a walk and I'm just like basically can't take them out so they're going wild at about like I would say from like 12 to 2 they're having like a wild few hours and I'm trying to get stuff done and they're just like going crazy and I'm like no pups so I really want to try and head to the um, pet store tomorrow to get them some treats like long lasting treats some moonbone um they've got some chicken feet but they're not really loving their chicken feet recently but I want to get them some teeth um some stuff for their teeth as well because I noticed Henry had a bit of like a few marks on his teeth side towns are prone to getting bad teeth um and they've always had like natural chews that are meant to be good for their teeth but I want to get them some more. Yeah, I went for a swim with my mum and Nana tonight which is something I've never done. I've never been for a swim since we bought this house which was over two years ago. Was it two years ago? August this year it'll be two years ago. Yeah, August this year is two years. Um, I can't believe the pups are two in September. You know, where does life go? Oh uh, yeah, so I've never like been for a swim like that, but I was gonna do one this morning and then Sean took the car away because I didn't like have a car, but my mum was like, Oh well, I'll go for one in the evening with you if you fancy. So I was like, Yeah, let's do that then. So me, mum and nana went. I didn't swim like loads, um, because I'm really unfit and it you know, uh couldn't hack loads, but I did do a good few lengths, which I'm happy with. It just got us out there. I need to start doing little things. I've got a green tea. Um I actually really enjoy green tea. I think I prefer it over normal tea and I think the reason why I only like coffee uh, with milk in if it's iced like I will not uh, like now I've noticed I really don't like the taste of hot coffee with milk in it I just like it black and I think even with tea the more I've been having like an English breakfast tea with milk I've kind of gone off it a bit like I don't like hot drinks with milk in them I prefer them just to be more water based so a green tea like is perfect for me and I'm sure green tea is better for you as well so I just need to get into the habit of having a green tea over a normal tea yeah but yeah i just thought i would jump in and say hi happy monday welcome to the weekly vlog I actually really need to take my birthday cards down i'm looking at them and i'm like we're into the second week of july now and yeah girl hasn't stuck the birthday cards down and my birthday was the 30th of june so they need to come down tomorrow put them in the pile i always keep them i have like one of the sideboard drawers i've just full of birthday cards and i get i just keep them because like i don't know i just do um but yeah they need to actually come down morning it's actually not sunny today it's kind of gray but it's like clammy like hot i haven't got the car again today so i am 
well I say I'm stuck in the house I could get public transport but I absolutely hate it so that's not going to happen so tomorrow I do have access to the car so I'm going to go out filming because I've got a really good idea for Friday's upload I want to do a video someone on Instagram actually suggested it and it'll already be up when this vlog goes live I want to do a video filming um basically like a come shop with me but at the stop shops I never ever shop at so I've compelled to list them so I'm going to go to Matalan Select, Save As, Peacocks, Next, H&M and then I want to head to the Royal Keys as well and just kind of see what's there so I'm going to film that tomorrow. Today is going to be another house based day. I have stuff that I need to do in the house and while I don't have the car and I'm stuck in the house I might as well get them stuff done so that's what today is going to be. I'm just having my cornflakes. I was up nice and early. I was like all intense, good, gonna get stuff done. Been organizing something with my grandma and uh, what was meant to take, basically I was organizing something with my grandma and what was meant to take is probably half an hour maximum to sort out ended up taking all morning so me and her are stressed as hell. We've just had one of them mornings, I mean just not yet, I've been ringing her because she's at her house. It's just been one of them days and I've just not it's just really put us in a shit mood. I was like up early. I was like going to get loads done. And I just haven't got what I wanted to get done done. But it's all sorted now. <laughs> you know when there's something just puts you in an arsey mood? That's what's happened with this. Right. One of the things I wanted to get done. I've had Depop items that I wanted to get listed on my Depop for ages. Um, and I've never listed them. So I feel like I'm going to do the photos of them. And then sit down with a cup bat and do all the listings. I have more stuff as well that I need to sort out. Like my wardrobe and everything needs a full declutter. But it's just not something I'm doing as of yet. Okay guys, so it's another absolutely boiling day. Henry is sunbathing with his treat. We've been out shopping, so he hasn't been out all morning. We went to Carlton's and got all of the oh, Just dropped his moonbone in the mill. But they've got a bag full of moonbone and treats. Actually, we've got them this ice cream, which I need to put in the fridge. It's um, a freezer, it's strawberry and apple. <clears throat> but yeah, they've got like a bag full of treats because they literally had nothing for ages bless them like we were just they have nothing and um, so pop this on but i want to show you some stuff that i picked up in the supermarket i picked up this it's my favorite favorite thing on crackers or i like it on toast it's the vegan patty um i like the vegetable one over the mushroom one and then i also got this plant-based tofu burrito and then the spaghetti and meatballs from asda is another favorite this is my shelf this is sean's shelf some of the things he got um, we just got a few meals and then obviously we got some like fresh um, stuff like for cooking some juice we literally had nothing in we really needed a shop and then does any of you used to love what's it but the prawn cocktail ones do you just remember them years ago well I was just walking around and I couldn't believe it I found a huge bag of the giant in prawn cocktail flavour I literally couldn't believe it and I've checked the ingredients and they actually look safe to eat if you're plant based as well i'm buzzing to try these to save the what i remember them tasting like right the smell just like i remember it's actually the thick ones though the giant ones they are just like i remember i don't know how i used my canon for so long because i love this camera so much like it's not so much the camera it's all the accessories you get with it like if i turn the, i've got like a little light box on top of the camera that just enhances the quality if i turn that off now look at this would be the lighting Nah. So, tonight I went in Frankie and Benny's with my friend Caitlin, Caitlin McAdam. You must know her because, well, if you've followed us a while, you'll definitely know Caitlin. Um, we've been friends for years. Henry, Henry. She's been Mammy's friends for years. <laughs> um, so we went to Frankie and Benny because I hadn't seen her since my birthday because she was ill on my birthday um, and couldn't come to the party. So she had me a present, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to open it on camera. But I just wanted to let you know, me and Caitlin will be meeting 
next month as well august and then it'll probably be the last time i say out of christmas because she's actually moving to london which i'm so excited for her for she's actually got a job working in the social media team for matterland which is just bloody huge like you know she went to uni and everything and this is just like such a huge moment in her life and i'm so proud of her um but yeah i just wanted to say that so we're gonna open my presents anyway i have a card and then i have another fancy looking present oh what's this I have a little strawberry daiquiri premium cocktail. Please. Just eat your nose. This is Mummy's present, not Henry's present. Look at them earrings. They're from Monkey and they're like a little gold hoop with a green dangly bit. I love them so much. I would take a moment. You look smart. <laughs> You think, oh God, is it your mum? You told us to sit. So I love them earrings. I actually wear so much of that green colour. So I know if I'm well, I will wear them so much. Oh my God, I actually love them. I never shop at Monkey, you know. And Caitlin has actually bought me two bags from Monkey before that I loved. And I've still got them. Like, I love them. Um, I need to start shopping at Monkey more. Stop! <laughs> Caitlin, it's literally a tradition for Caitlin to buy me like an accessory bag. Oh my god, guys! So this is the green version of the bag she got us probably like two, maybe a year or two years ago, and it was white, and you've probably seen it on my reels, my style videos. I wear it all the time. But she's got me the green version that I absolutely love. Honestly, need to have a look on Monkey more often because these bags are next level gorgeous look at that the squidginess of a cushion are you seeing it are you seeing it henry it's got whippy wheels on it guys Hola, is me whip it of course i'm me and look, it's got the BB ones. Can you see the little BB whip? It's like you. It's loads of you. I want to cry. There's one like Luna. There's Luna. I need to find a Henry. A Henry. Of, I would say that. Well, Henry's not really great. Caitlin, I've just opened my presents and absolutely died. I love them so much. They are me to a tea. You couldn't have got presents that were more me if you tried. Yeah, so the cushions, I ordered it, right? I was in the house and the day it was meant to come and I was upstairs um, working. And I'd heard my door go and it was like the letter box. And I was thinking like, right, okay. Um, and I'd run down because I thought, oh, right, he's come. Um, and I ran to the window and I saw him drive off and I thought, oh, for fuck's sake, like I've been in the house all day and I've missed it. Oh, what was I going to say? And then, and then me being stupid, I didn't go downstairs to check to see if it actually been delivered. I went on my phone and I thought, right, okay, let's find out where it's been. So then I went and it said, oh, it'd been delivered. And I thought, eh? I was, he said, it, it, it said on the thing that like, he'd put it through the letterbox. And I thought, Jesus Christ, how has he fit a pillow through the letterbox? <laughs> like, I've seen the size of it. Um... And yeah, I literally got downstairs and it was tiny and I'd ordered some wrapping paper for me, for me dad, so I thought, oh, maybe it was that. But then I thought, but that, like, that wasn't meant to come, so I was, like, that day, so I was just thinking, eh, like, what, what the hell is it? It was only the bloody cushion cover, wasn't it? <laughs> it didn't say that. So I was expecting, like, you know, a big, big box with a cushion in. And I was thinking, oh, for God's sake. So I had to run out and buy a cushion insert. I had to literally take the cover and measure it up because I had no idea what size it was going to be. <laughs> So doing Henry and Luna's walks in the evening, I really love evening walks. Like, it's made me appreciate. I like it because nobody's around. I'm an unsociable little bitch, but I just love it because the walk, there's nobody here. Like, it's just us, the trees, the lights, and the blue sky. Um, we're obviously doing them much later because of the current weather. It's just not, not right to walk your dog at how hot it is. I'm seeing pictures of dogs having blisters all over their feet like sunstroke it's really scary and i just won't even risk it so if it's even a bit hot for me then i'll get walks until it goes down um oops, okay, um 
but yeah it's made me really appreciate late night walks like we're doing i'm doing these walks like it's half 10 now which i know is like really late they're not usually this late but i've been out tonight um but we've been doing them probably like half eight nine onwards and I just love it um so i think we're going to keep it in the routine obviously i have their daytime ones when we can but i'm going to keep a really late night one in the routine i think um just because i've really been enjoying them and maybe do the late night one as our longer walk the pups i need this way darling having whippets uh, they're actually really lazy and one day when i picked sean up from work it was six o'clock so on the way back before the sun come up i was like i'll try and get them to walk early so i was like how do you get out of bed they were livid luna would not get out of bed so they don't like early morning ones and by like 10 o'clock it's absolutely violent so we've been doing like enrichment play i've been like getting them loads of treats and that's what we've had to do to entertain them through the day but yeah i'm, I'm really enjoying not even more it's it's pleasurable <laughs> These are our gorgeous flower beds. Sean's mum and dad planted them when we were on holiday. Aren't they so pretty and colourful? So we're keeping on top of water in them. I love that little pansy. It's so cute. We have some pansies. Let's see how well my grandma taught me flowers. I know that that's a pansy, I think. I'm not sure what this little pink one is. Oh, there's actually... Oh, I like the purple. You are pretty. I don't know what they are. Oh my God, I've just thought... The neighbours all think I'm outside of my house talking to me plants. <laughs> I mean, I kind of yeah, am because. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> um, there's these. I'm not sure what these are. Okay. She hasn't taught as well because I don't know what any of these are apart from the pansy. I feel like they're just noticeable to me. But can someone tell us what these are and what these are? They what are them? Bluebells? Are they bluebells? Maybe. Can someone educate my flower knowledge? What are these? I'm sorry if you can hear me fan. It's quite loud, um, but it's hot and I cannot sleep if I'm hot. Right, I've got myself a green tea. I don't know why I'm fucking showing you. Like, you can't see what it is in that mug, but I have actually done a layer of tan as well, just because I fancied it. Um, I have to be up at half five in the morning because I have to go and pick Sean up from work at six because obviously we're still car sharing. It's quarter to, oh, it's ten to one. I don't know if you can see. Five off, like, minimum sleep, so they're getting up early. Like, I'm not a morning person, but I can survive off minimum sleep. Like, it won't kill us. Like, I can do it, and I actually can be quite motivated with only a little bit of sleep. Um, but the car sharing's just not going ideal because it's usually the days where I haven't had much sleep. Like, tonight, I probably won't sleep till three. Then I've got to get up in two and a half hours to go and get him. And it's usually the days I need to pick him up other days where i struggle to actually fall asleep um but yeah like it's tonight i'm a wide awake i feel motivated tonight and like if i wasn't picking him up so early i would go into the office and i would start editing um i would either edit today's weekly vlog clips or i would start editing friday's video which i've got on my to-do list for tomorrow but because i have to pick some pick him up so early i know that that's not a sensible thing to do on my to-do list out for tomorrow so tomorrow i need to um i've got to film one of my regular ad content i've got to get that done and sent over to the brand i've got to sort some depop orders because obviously as you've seen earlier in the week i listed some stuff and i've had a few sales so i need to sort them uh take my birthday cards down still up I need to take them down i need to do a primark return i have a return to do from my last primark haul which probably means i'll end up going to primark and buying more
Okay guys, it's Saturday. My mum is on her way to pick us up because I'm actually going to her friend's Hindu for a few hours with my mum and Nana and I just thought it'd be nice and I got invited to go so I'm going to go for a few hours. I did a little get ready with me reel on my Instagram on what I'm wearing but I'll quickly show you. I've gone for this dress that I got from Primark, my black gladiator sandals and then I'm taking my little black bag as well. I just think it fits the vibe and I've got my step ones on underneath because they're so comfortable and I don't want to get chub rub. I'm not going to take my camera because I am taking a tiny bag and it won't fit in, but any footage I get, I'll get on my phone. I honestly don't even feel like having a drink. Like last week, obviously I was talking about how I don't want to drink anymore. I still feel like that today. I don't fancy having a drink. So I might actually not have one. Just gonna say how I feel, but at the minute, I just feel like I want mocktails and just to chill and enjoy the day like I, I'm not like I don't enjoy it if I have alcohol like I do but I just don't feel the need for it like I don't fancy anything I know it'll blow it as it'll put us off my diet I'm just like I don't fancy anything so I don't think I'm gonna have anything but anything I vlog I will vlog on my phone but yeah so that is what is happening today it's absolutely boiling again I am back and guess what? I didn't have a drink. I stayed, what's it called? Tea total. Oh, Sean, he's cut the grass. <laughs> it was needed, thanks. Um, what's it called? Tea total, Sean? Is that, I'm tea total now. Is that, well, no, is that when you're like long term tea total? Well, long term, no alcohol. I just mean to do alcohol. So I'm tea total a day. <laughs> I'm tea total a day, guys. Um, but you know what? I actually, I felt myself. I enjoyed it. I had a mocktail, a cocktail. I felt involved. I can now go in the car if I need to. Um, I stayed out a few hours. I would have stayed longer, but honestly, I just wanted to get home, have me tea. Like, I was only going to stay a few hours even if I had a drink. So it wasn't because I didn't have a drink. But I honestly feel like I could do a sober night out now. Like, we're meeting, well, we might be meeting my friend Ash and Dan tomorrow at the local. And I said to Sean, I'm probably just going to take the car, let him have a pint because yeah i'm just I feel like i need a good detox um so i'm making some tea we've got these nesta noodles which we got from i got them from the vegan kind supermarket and we had some the other day and even sean liked them didn't you uh, mint. mint like really like chow mini noodles and then we've got corn on the cob to use up and i've got some um baby corn and like these beanie things pea things so we're going to use them and um, so sean's doing tea i've just done the pups tea um but yeah back home now just gonna have our tea because i'm absolutely starving i said to me mum because me mum's actually still out with me nana because they wanted to stay a bit longer so i said to her if she gives us a text later i might pick her up so yeah but yeah it's so lovely the day like the weather is just a beautiful So this is the noodle dish that Sean made and then we had these little garlic like ciabatta things to use up as well and then I've put some of my Naked Glory chicken in the air fryer and I've got that. I think it's Naked Glory. I feel like I'm saying it wrong but I feel like that's what it's called and then we had some corn on the cob as well. Oh, no, I stopped. <laughs> Sean made tea and I specifically said please don't put chilli in it. Chilli paste was in it. Ironic that it wasn't pepper. It was pepper. It was chili. It was pepper. It was chili. Chili. We're going for an ice cream. So there's actually on like is it that's class is Whitley Bay, isn't it? No. What was it called? The Can you remember? <laughs> we, we literally studied it yesterday. Sorry. It's D Diamos de Man Ma there's something <laughs> so basically where the Whitley Bay amusements are if you're from the northeast like there's an, there's three ice cream shops actually but one of them has vegan option like a vegan option and it's really nice so because of the hot weather of course you've got to get an ice cream mm. what are you laughing at? Yep. guys this is what mine looks like mine looks like shit now it look nice <laughs> QVC, watch out. God, eh? Mm. Sean's just made his ice cream leak all over my hand because he wanted to drive to a specific car park. 
and I had all these ice cream and my hand was absolutely covered in chocolate. So I'm not I'm not I'm not amused. Me dress, everything got covered. It's literally the next car park. It's shown. It is. It took fucking ages to get here though. I can't watch all that. Yeah, but there's there's car parks over there. There's three car parks near the shop. It's not. Just because they don't have a bit of sea view that ironically we're not even fucking seeing. His Mac got covered, I got covered, my dress got covered. Anyway, this is vegan vanilla. What? What are you laughing at? Me, I'm funny as fuck, aren't I? No. But, I literally think ice cream can only be eaten on a cone. I hate it in a tub and I hate the ones at the tub at the, um, the supermarket. I'll only eat it out the tub at the supermarket if I put it onto a cone. Tub ice cream and cone ice cream is a different breed. Right, I'm still preferring green tea over dairy tea, would you believe? Just like a more water-based tea, I think it's refreshing. So, I've got a pile of parcels, some things I know I've ordered, some things I picked up from my PO box. So, I feel like I know what this is, and if this is what I think it is, it's a gift for somebody who watches my channel. And I don't want them to see it, so you probably won't be able to see this one. Which I could show you is because I think it's hilarious, but I'm not gonna be giving it to the person before tomorrow when this video goes live. So I'm gonna keep this one shh, a secret. So actually, I feel like I ordered quite a few gift things. Right, we'll just see. So um okay. Oh, I feel like this is actually the second part of that gift. Oh my God, it is the second part of that gift. I just want to have a quick look at it myself. Wow, okay, I can't show you that one again. Okay, this is actually <laughs> going a bit thingy, right? I hope this one's not something I've ordered that I can't show you. Oh, okay, so this one I did order, but I can show you this one. So I'm, I want to do a video for next week's video. Um, and it's ordering from viral, small viral TikTok brands. And one of the brands I ordered from are called Pop and Candy, but I am actually really excited because they do freeze dried candy. Oh my God, that is so much bigger than I thought. What the fuck? So I got this, which, which is freeze dried. One is, but it's freeze dried. And then I got this one, which again is something else. Like that is freeze dried. So they'll be out, oh, and then I also got the big vegan bag that they do. Um, actually love fizzy sweets like that. But they're going to be in a main video next week. I'll test them in a main video next week. So it'll probably be Friday's upload because I think I know what I'm filming for Monday, and I think it's slightly different. But keep an eye out for that. It's actually a really exciting video, and I think some of these parcels are going to be from the small brands that I've ordered from for this video. This isn't. So this one was delivered to my PO box, but I don't know what it is. I don't think I've ordered anything in this size. Oh, so this is actually from Tea Pigs, and they've put, Hi Demi, hope you like our iced teas, which launched earlier this month. Pop them straight in the fridge and enjoy them nice and cold. Let us know what you think. Packaging is so cute. So this is the iced tea, tea pigs. Sorry, was I saying tea pigs? I feel like I was saying tea bags. It's tea pigs, the brand. Um, and this one is summer fruit. So they've sent us three cans of their summer fruit. And I think there's three cans of the peach. Yeah, three cans of their summer fruit and three cans of the peach. I've just made green tea, so I don't really want to go into one of these because I know I'll waste it so I'll probably try these through the week so stay tuned on next week's vlog okay Love Raw are my probably favourite brand as a whole for vegan chocolate and they released vegan Ferrero Rochers would you believe and they sent us um, a pack of them or two packs of them 
it is the nutty chocolate balls so this is what they look like and they're meant to taste like Ferrero Rocher's I don't really fancy having them at the minute I'm going to keep them until I fancy them as well because I don't want to ruin the moment this one is actually for the TikTok video as well so I'm going to keep that one aside because I feel like it's better if we do a first impressions okay this is actually some sandals I ordered because when I was away in Cambridge chat my grandma really liked a pair of sandals that i had from primark and um she struggles with like different types of shoes um and she really got into these sandals and she really liked them and found them comfortable so i let her keep them and i didn't know primark still sold them so i just ordered myself another pair the exact same ones of depop because i actually really like them as well um so i thought well i'll just give grand them ones and i'll order these ones so these are the sandals they're just like the gladiator style but they're so comfy um so yeah, I ordered myself another pair of them. That's me parcel. Sorry I didn't get to open them all because I do want to keep them once for the video that I'm going to be filming um, through the week. Anyway, this is going to be the end of the weekly vlog because I'm actually going to get it up for 10am tomorrow. I usually like don't get them up until much later at night. But this one's more or less done. So I'm going to get it up for 10am. Thanks so much for supporting another weekly vlog and my channel as always. I love you so much and I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye!